I'm Jamie Basham. I'm an associate professor at the University of Kansas, but more importantly for this event, I'm the co-founder and CEO of, the, of UDL IRN. Yeah! So my wife, who is sitting in the back somewhere as a as district administrator, said, you know, a couple days ago we go through all this planning, we have the whole team that's working on things, we go through all this planning, and she said, you know, you get everyone hyped up uh, with great music, and then you get on stage, <laughs> and it's just dull. And we've been married 23 years, so I think she's allowed to say that. But you, thank you, Brian. So I'm hoping to kind of keep the energy up a little bit. I'm really hoping for that. So. Let's hear a little bit, let's hear a little bit so I can at least tell my wife I'm not as dull as I think I am. So, can we hear it for UDL? So, I don't even know, if she, yeah, she is in the audience, she's looking at me. I think I'm not going to do well later tonight with her. She's going to argue with me and say that I didn't. I just want to say welcome. This is an amazing combination of people coming together. Now we've done this annually for the last six years officially. But we started, we started a little organization about 10 years ago called the UDL Implementation and Research Network. And that organization was set forth to do one thing. In reality, just one thing. And that was to scale the implementation of universal design for learning. Now, we looked at that scale not as one thing, right? We were visioned on one thing. But we looked at the scale of implementing UDL as needing multiple things to go into it. We knew, we knew after doing the work in the field, after being in the trenches, working with educators, after being in higher education, working with teacher educators, as we worked in research, we knew it took multiple groups of people to come together to raise the bar in education, to design an education system that was equity focused, driven on the need to support all learners, all learners from the very beginning, right? that we need to look at the barriers that impacted learning, and we need to think about the design from the very start of the environment. We need to look at the environment and the experiences the students were having in learning. It doesn't matter if you're in California, or if you're in Detroit, or if you're in Florida. We have anyone in Florida here? We have anyone in California here? All right. Do we have any, anyone from Texas here? <laughs> Illinois? Illinois? We know they're here. They're just hiding. I know we have folks from Indiana. Puerto Rico? Singapore? Australia? We can keep going on and on. Because what we have realized, the people in this room have realized, is that it starts with design. That in order to reach all students, we need to think about the design of the environment and of the experience and how these things merge together to support the needs of all learners. And that's what we're doing here. We are coming from multiple walks of life. How many educators do I have in the room? How many people in higher education, researchers, do I have in the room? How many uh, consultants, education, how many consultants do I have in the room? They're not normally that quiet, are they? They're always telling you what they want you to do, but they're not doing it. How many coaches do I have in the room? Yeah. What about my, what about the vendors and industry folks do I have in the room? What about the architects that I have in the room? We come from multiple walks of life. We come from multiple walks of life focused on the one mission, 
focused on the one mission. And we gather annually to help support that mission so that we can all learn from one another, so that we can all advance. We can all advance education in our own small way or our own big way, depending on what we contribute. So I just want to say welcome. I think we have a great couple days in store. People that were here yesterday, how many people were at pre-con yesterday? I know we had about 200 folks. Yeah? We had about 200 folks at pre-con that spent long periods of time deep diving on topics that they thought were extremely relevant to them. Today we kick off a conference, and actually last night we had poster session. But today we're kind of kicking off the conference. And we have designed the conference with multiple learners in mind. We have 20-minute UDL talks that are going to come up, and they're going to give little 20-minute talks. We have people that are doing breakout sessions for more and longer engagements. We have design labs that are going to kick off in the afternoon. And guess what? You may have started this actually already this morning. I know that we had five people that went out running today. We had people doing yoga this morning, right? So we not only want to create an experience that, that develops you as a learner, as a professional, that gives you the, the knowledge and skills to move forward and where you need to be. So that Monday morning when you show up, you're going to know how to advance your own practice, no matter what that is, no matter if that's in a classroom, no matter if that's in a research project, no matter if that's designing a school. We want to provide you, we want to provide you the knowledge and skills to move forward from where you're at. So as you're going throughout the next couple days, design your pathway, design the pathway you need. Look at the multiple things you need in order to engage where you are and who you are as a professional and let us help you in doing that. And if you are lost, if you are lost, seek us out. We will always have someone back in registration. And how many people know a, a, a woman named Mackenzie? Now, Mackenzie is hiding in back, actually. She just walked in. Hi, Mackenzie. Mackenzie knows everything about this building. She knows everything about this conference, and she can help you. She can help you. She is the arms and the legs and the head of everything that we do in the IRN. She is our problem solver. She is our master designer. She is our master designer. Let us help you if you don't feel like you're getting what you need out of this conference, because we have designed it in such a way to help everyone. We believe we have designed it in such a way to help everyone. So I need to take care of a little bit of business, and then we're going to get on with some great talks. So first of all, for the last three years, we have been hosted here in Florida. And we believe Florida is a phenomenal state. One, it gets us out of the cold. For those of us, how many people have been stuck in the cold lately? <laughs> it gets us out of the cold weather. So we want to thank our local hosts, PSRTI, and David's going to come up here in a few minutes and tell you about what they do and who they are, et cetera, and, and, do, uh, and, and do the David Davis sort of thing. But we want to really thank our local, local hosts. We started out here on Tuesday on the ground unloading trucks, unloading trucks, and they were the first people to show up. And we are a volunteer-run organization we're a volunteer-run organization. We have very few staff. We've had very few staff in the past, right? So these volunteers that P PSRTI has brought to us make this all happen, make this all happen. So thank you very much in everything that you do. And this is when the clicker goes down. So I think the next slide. That's all right. I'm kind of dull. There we go. Thank you very much. The other thing that makes this happen, and I know the conference costs, people attend conferences all over the nation, all over the globe, some of you, and conference costs have been skyrocketing. We know this. We know this because we know we pay the bills to the hotel. We know what we pay. <laughs> We've tried to keep it down. The way we keep our conference costs down 
to the lowest possible extent that we can is through our great vendors, through the great vendors. So I want to thank right now AI Media, who's providing the captioning, AI Media that's providing the captioning, Text Help, who have always been great sponsors of ours and are just embedded into everything we do throughout the UDL IRN, and they've helped cast as well on a number of things. Gould Evans, a, a, a recent addition to the, to the UDL IRN family and helping us think about how we integrate space design and, and pedagogy and how it all kind of comes together. And then we have CAST, and the founders of UDL. And we're going to talk about them in just a second in a little bit more detail. And then we have Norva Nival. Norva Nival, who has really kind of brought forth, brought forth uh, us to think about space design in a new way and, and the furniture and things that we do in our classrooms. And Tippy Talk. Tippy Talk is an upcoming company, and we're going to hear more about them as we kind of move throughout the next couple days. I also want to thank our Planet Summing. Some, uh, the Summit Planning Committee. The Summit Planning Committee is what makes this happen. They start meeting, I think, in fact, we meet Saturday. Uh, if anyone's bored on Saturday, we're talking about next year already, uh, where we'll debrief on, on this year, and we'll start laying out the vision for next year. They take a, a few days off, and then we get on the plane, start scouting and doing the things we need to do to, to carry off the next year. And it is, not, it is those, it are those volunteers, the volunteers of the Summit Planning Committee that meet religiously on a month-to-month -month basis up and through about December and then on all, nearly a week-to-week -week basis to bring this all together and review uh, proposals and do all the things that need to, to make this a, a reality. So I am very thankful for the Summit Planning. Can I hear it for the Summit Planning Committee? So the next thing I want to talk to you about is something very exciting. We're very excited, and we're not going to spend too much time on this today, but we're, we're going to talk to you and give you a little preview of something you're going to probably see next week. We believe the future is brighter if CAST and the UDL IRN work together. Now, we've been working together for the last three years in partnership around learning design and around growing the future of UDL. And so for the last year and a half or so, we've been kind of talking about what the future looks like and we see the future as brighter as we work together. And so over the next week or so, you're gonna see official announcements around, around the two organizations coming together with a focus on brightening the future of UDL, working together to brighten that future. And we are here, we're gonna talk, and we'll be able to talk to you on the, uh, in the hallways around this if you have questions, but we are really, really excited that CAST and the IRN are merging and coming together. Can I hear uh, some, 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 yeah. Yes, we're excited about this. It's a, gonna be a great opportunity to merge uh, and bring forces together to support the infrastructure we need to help, to help the field grow in multiple ways. Now, we talked about this a little bit last year and we were kind of at a pre-release stage and many of you have already signed up. And how, it, how do I know that? because we are in a soft release stage for Learning Designed. So if you've not started and looked at learningdesigned.org, it is a great, great platform that's not profit driven. It's actually driven by nonprofits that have come together to support the advancement of UDL in multiple ways, in multiple ways. We think it's a great place to start your journey. So as you have educators, that are needing support in the classroom, if you're an educator that needs support in the classroom, if you're a professor that's needing support in, in, helping, in helping program and, and develop uh, future teachers, if you're an architect or a vendor that's needing support in thinking about how UDL might be right for your solution, if you're an education leader that's needing help in supporting initiatives in your district, that UDL as not an initiative, but the foundation of all initiatives, as you're implementing that in your district, you, learning designed is for you. Learning designed is for you. And you're gonna hear more about this tomorrow as Steve kind of gets up, but we have a number of resources. There are tons of resources there. There are absolute tons of resources from all over the world that you can use in your learning experiences as, a, as, as professionals to grow professionally but also to help you implement in your classrooms and your environments. And we're gonna hear more about that tomorrow, but we are extremely excited, extremely excited 
that learningdesign.org is out there. And we have credentialed, uh, I think, north of about 200 people already. We have credentialed north of 200 people already. And if you don't know what a credential is, go to learningdesign.org and find out. Go to learningdesign.org and find out. But we have, we have credentials, micro-credentials, that people can get to say, I know UDL. I understand UDL. And there's going to be credentials that are coming out very soon that move you past just knowing it, that are moving you past into implementation. And there's going to be very soon, very soon, building level certification for buildings that have worked hard, that have worked hard at implementing it in their buildings and want to be noted as doing so. They want to be able to not only show to their staff that they can implement UDL, but they want to be able to show to the world, to parents, community members, to the world around them, so that when we get calls, when we get calls to say, where do we go visit someone that's implementing UDL? That we can say, here's a list of schools. And the building certification is going to be coming out here later this spring, and we're very, very excited about that. You're going to hear more about that tomorrow. All right. It's time for me to get off the stage, thankfully. Uh, a little bit of love. Not much, but just a little bit of love. All right. So I want to bring up David Davis, who's running up on stage. David Davis, uh, for those who don't know David, David is... Uh, the coordinator, what's your exact title? I don't know, he runs the state is all I know. It's something like that, I don't know. Uh, he, he, he's the chief troublemaker for PSRTI. But David's one of these people that when you have a problem, when you have a problem, that PS on RTI means problem solver, right? Problem solver. He's a problem solver as well as a troublemaker. So it's the best combination of people you can have, right? So welcome, David. And I want to thank you for having us again this year. And I'm going to hand over the mic. Appreciate it. Good morning. Um, back in 2004, I took over a statewide technology project and had to plan an institute. And the person before me, Eileen Prasick, who had been doing these institutes for over 20 years, like 25, 26 years, she was huge into themes. And she was always coming up with some type of theme for every institute. So I knew I had to do a theme. And so I decided to go with stellar cartography. I mean, nothing says technology like stellar cartography. But the reason I went with stellar cartography is because I had discovered a company called Fable Vision, which was sort of built around the work of a guy named Peter Reynolds, who is an artist, and they just really focus on children and the hearts of children. So they really have an amazing focus on the affective networks and really looking at what is important to children. And I realized that that was something I needed to know because I was classic techie and not real empathetic. And the really big thing is I'm an adult. And if you know Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss says that adults are simply obsolete children. That's what we are. We are obsolete children. We are obsolete teenagers trying to design learning for children and teenagers, but we're obsolete. So it, it makes it hard because we are looking at things like, oh, come on, you want to do, let's get into science and let's get into engineering and let's get into all these other things. And they're more looking at this. They're just trying to figure out what way to go. And they're being told different directions by all these obsolete children that are saying go this way or go that way. And stellar cartography was all about helping them to find their North Star. Always about helping them to find what are your goals? What is it you want to look at? And this focus really echoed with me because in this picture here, this child has walked away from the path that all the obsolete children have told her she should be walking on and instead has seen a star that is speaking to her. And so she's moving in a new direction. We've been doing this for years, and that's one of the things we did with the RTI project when we went into it several years ago and we brought in universal design for learning, assistive technology, accessible educational materials, all of these things was so that we could look at something completely new and something universal. And this is still happening. Um, I wanted to point out, last year they brought in furniture, for those of you that were here last year, and I know, and they've got it this year again, and I know a lot of people 
saw the furniture and thought, this is so cool, and then said, but it's very expensive, and then just sort of dismissed it. But everything the UDL IRN does is very intentional. And this furniture is actually one of those things they call a disruptive influence, a disruptive technology, a disruptive idea. It brings you to a place to where you're starting to think, maybe the path I'm on isn't completely the right path, and maybe there's another star or something I can look at. So Jamie was telling me about some schools they're working with, and they had put some furniture into the classrooms while the teachers were gone, completely redid it, and they were concerned with one teacher because she was very much a sage on the stage type of person, and they didn't know how she would take it, but she got in there and she saw the furniture, and she said, I can teach differently now. I can do something really different. And that's just amazing. I thought, what if, what if the things that we really needed to do to change everything was just change all the furniture in the universities? What if all the colleges of education, departments of education changed their furniture and that changed teaching for everybody because people just learn teaching differently? Or just change the setup. What if that, something that simple, even though it's expensive, but something that simple could make a huge difference. And so that suddenly is another star out and a constellation of stars to start looking for and start saying maybe we can walk down a different path. And it took me down another path and we're looking at all this changing and how you set up the classroom and how students work together. And I started thinking, what if the point's not to have expert learners? And I'm very much, I'm huge into expert learners. I mean, I, to me, it's not just an outcome. You have to intentionally focus on it. But what if it's not the point? What if the point is expert teams, expert collaboration? What if when we did data chats with students, it wasn't just about how they're doing in, on their curriculum, but how they're doing with each other in supporting each other and in learning from each other? What if personalization systems gave feedback to students on how they were working with other students? It's called synergy. It's this understanding that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. What if students saw each other that way? What if that's what they became an expert in? How would that change society as they grew up into it? What if students did not see each other in the different categories that we put them in. They didn't see each other by gender. They didn't see each other by race. They didn't see each other by any of the categories we use. What if the only thing they saw was systemic variability and how it all works together to create something bigger than the sum of the parts? What if that was universal design for learning? And that's one of the stars in my constellation. The UDL IRN will give you a ton of options to talk to people about different ideas. I am hoping that something will be disruptive enough that it will help you to see a new star in your skies and help you to walk away a little bit from the path that you're used to and start to explore something different and something new. And so as a representative of the Problem Solving Response to Intervention Project, the Technology and Learning Connections team, I want to welcome all of you here and hope that you have an amazing conference. And if you would now please welcome to the stage, Sue Harding. Thank you so much, David. And I hope you're all looking for your North Star. I know I'm gonna be in search of mine starting right now. Um, so we are uh, excited to have everybody here. We just got a few more things to do before we kick it off. Um, and I'm just waiting for the slide deck to come up. So it'll be up here in just a second. You all look marvelous. You really do. You should see it from up here. Come on up. Come on up. Come see. Really looks great. Um, okay, here it is. Thank you, guys. So um, in case you haven't found it, here is our uh, network information. So it is the conference area. Um, Wi-Fi that you'll be looking for. When you pull that up, it'll ask you for a, a, pre, a, a code, and the code is UDL, lowercase, 2019. So feel free to get on. We just ask you to be a, a network neighbor, uh, a good conscious network neighbor, and that means please don't log in with five devices. One should do it, so make sure that we have enough to go around, and that way we'll make sure we have um, wireless for everybody. 
Right. Um, if you have not found this yet either, the conference schedule is online. If you go to the UDL IRN Summit site, you can find it. There's an interactive schedule. It's called our, our SCED, and it gives you uh, up-to-date information about what's happening through the course of the next two days. So get on there. You can see who's going to be presenting, what they have to say, and you can kind of map, map your path to your North Star using that SCED. All right, and finally, Please be social with us. We want to see um, the trend continue. I went, when I went to bed last night, I got hopped on Twitter and saw that in Florida, hashtag UDLIRN was trending. So woohoo, good job, guys. Let's keep it up. Um, we want to hashtag UDLIRN in all of your tweets. And we want to bring Brian Dean up to the stage. Come on and join me, Brian. He's our hype man. Come on, come on. <laughs> woohoo. So for those of you who missed morning exercise, and I think there were a few of you since there were only five of us running. I didn't see yoga. How many of you made it to yoga? Okay. So some of you may have missed your morning exercise, but that's okay. We've got you covered. We're going to do an activity we call Just Like Me. It's pretty simple. When we say, I am a, and it describes you, all you need to do is stand up. Stand up. Take a look around, maybe give yourself a little bit of, uh, of applause, and then sit back down. So we'll be working on those glutes today, just up and down and up and down. All right, are you ready, Brian? Yeah, you know, <laughs> Sue, I got to tell you, I thought we were going to color coordinate. Um, what wear, happened? I only wear black, so. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's what you meant by color coordinate. <laughs> yeah, are you all ready? Yo, come on now. Come on now, I get up here every year we do this. Every year we had the same fight. How many people have done this with me before? Yeah, yo, we do this every time we have the same fight. Are y'all ready? Yeah. See, all right, now, that, now it feels ready. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Uh, I am a PK-12 educator. Stand up, yell out, do what you can, make some noise, celebrate yourselves. How about if you're post-secondary? Who's my po where are my post-secondary people at? Oh, okay, see, they got up this morning, they're like, fix the tie. Yo, post-secondary, make some noise. Where, where are my administrators at? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, here's what I love, uh, here's what I love about the IRN. Like, usually you go to a conference, you can tell those administrators right away. You're like, oh, they got the charcoal suit. I know, that's an administrator. Oh, they're dressing down today, they got the khakis and the, and the wicking polo on. You know what I'm talking about, administrators. You're like, that's the Friday gear, yo. I got you, I understand, I understand. How about, uh, how about an educational consultant or an instructional coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, how about ed tech? Where my ed tech people at? Yes, yes. How about professional learning providers? That's right, that's right. There you go, there you go. Stand up, make some noise. All right, who did we miss? Who did we miss? What else are other people doing? We got any like, uh, I don't know, we got any UDL chefs out there or anything? Where are my research people? <laughs> all right, okay, we got them all, we got them all. All right, we come in there. We come. Hold up. I know that you're excited. All right, Bring me the next ones. So, so this is stand up. If I'm a UDL. If you, if you just love UDL, I guess. <laughs> if you're like, I'm open, it's a blank slate, I'm ready to go. If that's you. <laughs> yeah, just some random applause works too, folks. Like you're like, yay, all right, I'm, whatever, we'll go with it. Oh, there we go. Are you an implementer? Yes, you, yes, yeah, stand up, stay up, stay up, stay up, y'all. How about a researcher now, my researchers? Stay up, stay up. How about my networkers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they're feeling the burn yet, Sue. I don't know if they are. Give me one more, give me one more. What are you, what are you passionate about? This is about what you're passionate about. Stay up on these, okay? All right? Sue, so do you want to do them? No, you're good. 
Okay, she says I'm going. How about developing expert learning and learners? Yep, yep. How about designing to the edges? Yeah, yep. How about developing agency and advocacy? All right, okay. How about growing the UDL community? Of course you are, of course you are. And then how about this? How about building this inclusive culture? Oh, you should be up here. Yo, I got goosebumps. You should be up here. Take me to the, right. to the next one. All right. Do you want me to do this one? <laughs> yes, please. Right. This one requires some direction, so I'm going to take the mic from Brian for this one. He's going to rest. Yeah. All right. So how many of you made a selfie stick last night? All right. And how many of you actually brought them? You, all right. Get them out. We're going to need them. I see them waving in the air. So we, we did that intentionally. Like David said, we don't do anything on accident. It's not just uh, fluff to fill the day. We are going to use our selfie sticks now. So this is an opportunity to get to know somebody. So I want you to look around the room and um, find somebody that matches your, uh, this, when we do this stand uh, just like me. So I want you to stand up if you're here for the first time. So stand up. Make eye contact with somebody across the room who's here for the first time. Okay, but in a, in a minute, I'm going to give you a direction to find that person, okay? But first, let's celebrate our first timers. Woohoo! All right, first timers, sit down. All right, stand up if this is your second or third UDL IRN. So you've been here before. All right, look at these guys. They're coming back. They want to come back. Absolutely. Make some eye contact with someone. You've got to find these people in just a moment. All right. You can do it. <laughs> Stand up if this is your fourth or fifth IRN event. All right. All right. It's a smaller group. So find a friend. Lock some eyes. And our last group. Stand up if this is your sixth. UDL IRN event. All right, look at that group. All right, woohoo, woohoo. We are here. Awesome. All right, so here's what we're going to do we are going to talk about your hopes and dreams for Summit 2019. You're going to find that partner from across the room after I give you all the directions. Here's what we're going to do <clears throat> introduce yourself, let them know who you are, what you do, why you're here. Share with them your UDL why. What's the passion that brings you to UDL? We all have a reason for being here. It might be a story. It might be a situation you're in right now. It could be anything. Please share that with your new partner. And then share with them your summit intention. What is your North Star? Where are you trying to get to? What path are you planning to take? And just have a conversation about what your goal is for the next two days. And then take an ussie. It's not a selfie. It's two people, so it's an ussie. So you're going to take an ussie, and you're going to tweet it out at UDL IRN. And if you want to share what your intention is, that's optional. If you want to share your UDL why, that's optional too. We just want to see your smiling faces with your new partner out on. Uh oh, that was, I thought they cut me off. All right. Any any questions? So we're only going to give you three minutes to do this. So this is a fast thing, all right? We're going to get three minutes on the clock. Find your partner. Have your conversations. We'll leave this up. Take your photo and tweet it out. Any questions from the crowd? You guys are awesome. Ready and go. OK, y'all. We, we had our last 20 seconds. We had our last 20 seconds. So you're going to want to find your way back. Yep, take them on the way. Take them on the way. I got to tell you, we do this. <clears throat> I'll tell you, I'll tell you when you're done. <laughs> Ooh, time's boiling down. We have the last five, four, three, two. 
One. All right, let's start making our way back, y'all. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Here's the airplane, and the doors are closing, closing, closing. I've done the adaptive. <laughs> right? All right, we're going to bring it back old school. If you see my hand, raise yours up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, if you see my hand, please put yours up. We're returning back to our places because you're not going to want to miss the next part. You're not going to be the one that's like, what's going on? Here we go. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. That's right. All right, so, so we always do this on a Thursday. We always do this on our opening day. Um, because on Friday, nobody wants to take a selfie. Everybody's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good, though. Thanks. All right, so I'm going to turn it over to uh, Sue one last time, and then, um, well, then we're going to roll on. All I wanted to say is thank you for doing that. I know it's uh, difficult to get out of your chair, meet somebody new, share something. Hopefully you made a new friend. Check in on them periodically today. See how their journey's going. Check on their North Star. Thanks. I'm going to give it back to Brian as he brings up our first presenter. Woo! All right, everybody, Sue Harden, y'all. Sue, come on now. Sue Harden, y'all, yeah. All right, so I, I got, I've got a distinct pleasure uh, in, in introducing our next speaker. <clears throat> so, uh, all right, we're, going, we're just going, we're going to do it live. I don't know where the, cool. All right, so our next speaker, I'm sure once I announce uh, some of her credentials, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I know her. Uh, so I'm going to read this off, but then we're going to, we're going to ad lib, right? So uh, this, our next speaker is Katie Novak. Uh, here's her bio real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, UDL royalty just entered. You're right. You can go ahead and clap. It's okay. Uh, so she says, I'm a mom, educator, administrator, writer, and consultant in that order. Okay, like it, we all know that, right? Uh, I balance my work life with four wild kids running, fabulous shoes. Yo, shoes are on point, trust me. You're going to see them in a minute. <clears throat> uh, skiing, traveling, and margaritas. Yo, that's true, too. Like, if you ever, that's true, too. Uh, everything else, she says, you can Google. But I got to tell you this, she's always on point. She's always on fire. She is energetic. You will be ready to go, right? She's going to talk about her UDL failure resume, OK? Uh, so that you can be reflective of your own. So I'd like to bring up Katie Novak, y'all. Now make some noise. Yes. Yes. And I, I will just tell you this. Katie doesn't just give a talk. She gives you an experience. So y'all better be ready. You thought this up-down stuff was mm-mm, mm-mm. No. So Katie Novak, everybody. Thank you. 